Hello guys and ladies, this is Premium Milk. Here is a tutorial for the Creative Motion Pack for Premiere Pro. Here on the zip file you will find the documentation, tutorial and the zxp file. Let's open the Premium Builder installation and here you will find what you have to do to download zxp installer. Go to this link and download zxp installer and install it into your system. Run zxp installer after like this and just drag and drop the zxp file here in order to install it on your system. After that you will open Premiere Pro and you will find here on the window extensions create Premiere Builder Creative Motion Pack SSL Graphic and when you open, open it it will appear here. Also you can do the manual installation here to rename the zxp file to zip file in order to copy after that in the this destination on the extensions folder and if you don't want to use the premium builder extension you can find the mogul files by unzip this Z zxp to zip file and extract the zip file and then you have to go to find the rest folder and find all the mogul files there in order to copy them on the ssr graphics folder so this is it how the installation of the premium builder and here is some troubleshooting if there is something wrong but i hope everything is it, is, it will be well so after that the installation you will find it here the premium builder this is all the categories till now here is the openers backgrounds gradients kinetic patterns backgrounds we have devices all kind of devices tablet laptop mobile and monitor lower thirds very nice lower thirds typography we have sub subcategory auto oriented box typography callouts glitz kinetic modern quotes and bubbles then we have the infographics amazing infographics social media logos corporate and kinetic and transitions flat transition and some icons if you need so by double click uh, opener wherever you want this it will appear in your sequence here you are able to change the colors of course here just click and change the colors like that write down your text and also you are able to remove the background opacity in order to put your footage if you want the openness is very easy to customize it is one minute length all the openers let's bring another one like this just change the text the, the text and the colors and to customize it let's go to the backgrounds here on the backgrounds we have nice gradients let's double click the gradient and then go to typography and find a nice text to put inside like this one be careful when you double click you have to be sure that you are you lock this sequence in order to come above this sequence scale to frame size because some text animated text are 4k let's change this to purple I don't know if you can use this one yes you can so here maybe I prefer this color okay now we have this animation very nice you of course you can scale it up if you want from here or down also you are able to change the colors of the background here you want some more lighter like this okay this is the how you will use the gradients It's very nice animations there is no static they have a nice move all the gradients let's place another one here let's bring this one let's see if this one okay and le let's bring above uh, 
a kinetic typography like uh, like this one remember to lock okay here right click scale frame size remember you have to put the background opacity to zero scale it a bit down okay and here you are able to write your text like this and in order to fit you have to scale it down a bit and to move it up okay all the kinetic typography are looping so we have four seconds animation but if you copy paste this you will see that you have amazing loop very nice of course here you, you are able to change the color also like this okay and also if you want you can put off the opacity of the solid layer let's continue let's go to devices the devices are ready with placeholders working on 2021 and above because they have placeholder scale to frame size and here except the logo that you are able to change here and scale it down you are able to put a footage or a or your website here on the mobile and you have your app or your website change the text all these devices work the same way very easy you change the placeholders and you have a nice animation with devices let's go to lower thirds let's bring some footage here let's fit to frame size okay we have this amazing shot now we want a nice lower third like this one double click right click scale to frame size and put it down and the scale exactly how much you want and it's ready you are able to change the text and the colors and it's ready also there are lower thirds available with placeholder with logo placeholder to put your logo also like this one okay all these low, lower thirds are in alpha channel you can use them some of them they use the saber plugin that is free to use like this one let's place this lower third here it will take some time because it loads the free plugin from video copilot saber plugin for neon right click scale to frame size and also you can put position and on this specific you are able to change some things like text opacity that is inside and write your own text and change the color also on typography we have also nice quotes with neon effect like this one the, the most of them are 4k and and I have to scale it to fit because it's on a we, we are working on HD sequence so here is another one very nice neon effect just say, change your text put your colors you can scale down the quotes if you if you want if you don't want them at all you can re remove them let's continue here on the typ typography box we have a box animation title all of them there all these boxes are all the text on the boxes is auto-oriented it means that 
you write down your text and the box moves creative okay so here better to write with caps lock it's better okay and also to change the color and to have another animation of the typography we have callouts glitz very nice kinetic a lot of them amazing kinetic compositions modern quotes and speech bubbles let's go to now to infographics let's bring another footage here let's bring this guy and here on the side we want some some infographic so here right click again to scale down this chart you are able to have it as a as like this but also you are able to remove the background at all or to put some uh, not to put roundness to change the bar width and here you change the values very easy also the colors are customizable and finally the text here sector one to four with text information and the headline above so the chart is very nice to use them let's continue okay here we have now something that we need to put some social media so you double click here here we have a placeholder to put video channel it works like this okay you can change all this information all here is the text and your logo at, fi at the end to subscribe on to subscribe on the youtube channel also you have we have nice social media emoji and hertz moving from right to left or from down to up and all kind of social media emoji after that we have logos corporate and kinetic very nice kinetic logos that they are looping here on the logos just drag and drop your logo here like that for Premiere Pro 2021 excuse me you have to put something in black and fit inside like this and also kinetic let's bring this one scale to fit the frame size put off background BG opacity slider delete if you don't want extra text above and below or your website and here just drag and drop your logo scale it to the center and you have a nice kinetic logo animation that is looping for your video finally we have transitions very nice transitions that we are able to change the color of course that working very nice from one layer from one layer to the other from one footage to the other and finally we have some icons that you are able to use them so this is it i hope uh, you like it the creative motion pack for premiere pro is also available for after effect more than 1000 elements so this is it i hope you like it don't forget to rate thank you very much bye bye